Hello everyone and welcome back to Steam Free Game Highlights. A series where I play a randomly selected game off of Steam's free to play page. Today we're playing Fish Idol 2. Use the circle to move. Uh, you can very clearly tell this is a mobile game, especially from the settings menu. Vibration. So I can use WASD or I can just click with the mouse. Your boat will automatically attack nearby fish. Fill up your cargo to continue. I don't think as a fisherman you're supposed to attack them. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't think attacking the fish is the real goal of fishing. Cargo is full. Eight coins worth. Undelivered message. Somewhere around here was a mysterious message. Oh. Target detected. Target acquired. Do I deposit the fish at the lighthouse? Yes, I do. His upgrades catching speed increase your catching speed from 16 to 17. Oh my god! Okay, let's get it. Exchange. What are those? Fish eggs? Is that caviar? Submarine? Is there any way to go faster? Move speed. Move speed upgrades would be nice. Oh, I actually got the bottle immediately. I see yellow, orange fishies over there, too. Sorry, sir, your bottle can wait until after I get all these fishies, although I think I just saw an extra one spawn. Can I get them before they spawn, or did I not see a spawn? Nope, I just saw one spawn in. I will genocide the entire bluefish population. Let me see how the orange fish is. That takes longer. And it counts as two. But each one is worth only one coin less than all four bluefishes. Right, let's go for move speed. Green and gold. Okay, green is less than the orange, but more than the blue. Or no. It's, no, green is technically the same as the blue because it takes two slots per green. But it's only worth double the money. Orange is the most uh, bang for your buck. I want to get these greens just so I can get that gold one. I don't think I have enough fishing power for that though. Can I upgrade my cargo space? I can. Four to six, so I can catch three of these green ones. Movement speed would also be nice. I would like some more of that. What's this one? This one has caviar. That's what I'm calling that stuff. I don't know what it actually is. No. Oh, there's a lot of gold ones up there. Can't catch these green ones fast enough. New gate unlocked. Alright, I'll give him the bottle and see what he gives me. Ten coins. Can I swoop in down here? Snag the gold one? Yes. Anyway, it takes two. Alright, I don't want any green ones. So I'm gonna get some of these orange ones. Then I'm gonna go to the new area. Okay. 
catching speed, cargo capacity, move speed, HP. I can take damage. Move speed. Still sounds the best for me. Ghost submarine, I know what that blue thing is. This episode is brought to you by Dubby. Are you tired of energy drinks that give you the jitters? That make you feel all shaky with their high energy content? Enter Dubby, the best jitterless energy on the market. With a wide variety of flavors, my personal favorite being the Beach and Peach Tub, Dubby gives you the energy you need without the jitters. Just put one scoop into a 16 ounce water bottle and you're good to go. I personally use Dubby every time I go to the gym. It gives me all the energy I need without ruining my workout with the shakes. It also contains a bunch of vitamins and nutrients to help elevate those long gaming hours. Try Dubby for yourself at www.dubby.gg. Use code Isaiah Mildy for 10% off your order at checkout, and thank you all for watching. I'll just take both of you. 50 coins each? Hell yeah. And five of whatever the green gem is supposed to be. see why catching speed might be a little bit nice. Doing some sick tricks here. More capacity. What's your quest, sir? Main quest? Help me get my team back and I will give you unprecedented power. Okay. Uh, eight things there to get. Will you let me grab you this time? Now we're going straight for the sluice gate again. What about you? Give us flippers. We're, we'll be ready to go. That's one of the guys. One of his guys that I need to get. Another one. Here's your flippers. Oh, I need ten flippers. I didn't even read the number before. gonna take a while. Hold on, let me, uh, what's this? Income per, I see. Passive income. Well, let's get more of these flippers. I'll increase catching speed a little bit. to upgrade my capacity again. There, now I can catch the last four all at once. Instead of having to take another trip for one extra. thousand experience to get to the next level. Jeez. I wonder what next unit in three hours means.
Whoa, got one out of eight. You're welcome, Mr. Pirate. Yarg. More capacity. Sounds pretty good. Screw Johnny's place, honestly. Required level four. I don't have enough space for those guys. How many slots do they take? I want you a caviar. I want to go see what the caviar gets me. Exchange 100 coins! Increase radius, eh. I'd have more capacity and speed. Okay, these guys are worth 23 coins each. Those guys are worth 7, and these guys are worth 12. So let's get a bunch of 23s. How many slots are you going to take up? Perfect, I can fit five of you. That's a hundred and fifty. Yeah, hundred and fifteen coins. They're not escaping my radius. Just because I'm looking away for a second doesn't mean you can escape me. because I was looking away. Last one. I don't even like fish. I don't go fishing because I don't like fish. Speed seems better for right now because it takes me a little bit of time to fill this capacity. So the faster I fill the capacity, the better. There we go. You can kind of cheese which fish you're grabbing. It's going so much faster now. And we got some caviar. Oh, of course it went to you. Another 115 coins, plus an extra, oh. Oh, you can go through those walls too? That's just rude. Thought it was just a sluice gate you'd be going through. Uh, honestly, yeah, add a second rod. That doubles our efficiency, right? Yeah, we catch two fish at once. Ooh, only issue is keeping them both in the radius. That might be a good uh, reason to upgrade the radius then.
Interesting. There's a nice, a nice, uh, chill nature to this game. All right. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this scene for game highlight, though. There's not much else to to accomplish here. We've got some upgrades. We know the ropes. Or should I say, we know the hooks. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go kill myself after that. Uh, so let's go to the report card. There's gonna be a, quite a short report card because this is obviously a mobile game. So uh, for the good, it's nice and chill. There's not a whole lot going on. Nothing's too complicated or anything. Everything is just chill. You just go about it. You get it done. Not too much thought required. Uh, the bad? I can't think of any. Only thing would be, uh... I know it's based off a mobile game, and mobile games almost never have volume sliders, but, uh... Volume sliders are always a, a plus to have. But that's about it. Overall, I give this game an A-. minus. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.